Hello, this is Professor Mary and we're going to go over homework number five, which is a walking homework assignment. So this is when it's going to start to get a little um, more complex, so we're going to start to do some walking animations. And it's going to be a relatively long um, animation, it's going to be out to about 240 frames. Um, so we'll go ahead and walk through it. So you notice I have homework five open, called homework five walking. And of course the first thing I'm going to do is go down and name my layer, and this one is going to be called hallway. And I'm going to take the um, hallway graphic, and I'm going to place it under the stage. And I'm going to align it vertically and horizontally. Now the hallway is going to stay on the screen for the entire animation. So this is going to go all the way down to 242, oops, too far. Um, So according to the paperwork, it's going all the way down to frame 289, which is going to be about 12 seconds into the video, into the animation. So we're going to right click here, insert a keyframe. And of course, you know, I'm going to lock this layer so I don't mess it up. All right. So when we, um, the next thing we need to do is set up the um, walking um, movie clip. So we're going to go to file or excuse me, not file, we're going to go to insert, new symbol, and we're going to call it walk fast. And I like to call my movie clips MC, that way I know it's a movie clip. All right, and this opens up a new timeline and a new stage area. And what we're going to do is we're going to rename this layer one, we're going to name it walk. Now we're going to actually going to create two um, walks, one that's going to be fast and one that's going to be slow. So the first one, is going to be this is the fast one so we're going to click on the layer walk the key, first keyframe and we're going to drag over the walk and I'm going to center this vertically and horizontally to the stage and because this is the fast walk we're going to be doing it in um, basically from you know frame one two three and so on so I'm going to right click on frame two insert a keyframe this is still frame uh, this is still walk one so I'm going to click on it go to my properties and swap it out for walk two. Again, I'm going to need to align this to the stage. Then I'm going to right click on frame three, insert a keyframe. This is still two. We need to swap it out for three. Here's three. And then we're going to center it vertically and horizontally. We're going to click on frame four insert a keyframe, swap this out for, for, for walk four, click on frame five, insert a keyframe, swap this out for number five, and I think I forgot back in frame number four here to center it horizontally and vertically. All right, so then I'm going to go to frame six, insert the keyframe, click on it, go here to walk, change it to six, do it vertically and horizontally. All right, so now I need to go to, I'm going to hold my papers here, I got to go to frame number seven, right click, insert keyframe, click, Swap that out for, from six to seven. Again, horizontally and vertically align it. Click on frame eight and insert a keyframe. That's still seven. I want to swap it out for eight. Align it center. Now, generally, when you're creating a walk cycle, you're going to do it. Um, walk cycles either occur in eight graphics or in 16 graphics. Um, it's generally going to be in factors of eight. Um, the more realistic it is, the more frames it is. Um, so we're just going to do a basic walk. Now to test this, I'm going to click on the loop, make sure it plays from one to eight, and I'm going to hit play. Now, 
See, that's a very fast walk, so he's really walking with purpose. Now, something's happening. He's jumping back up and down, back and forth somehow. So I'm going to turn on onion skin. And generally what we're going to want to make him do is walk in place. So you've got to figure out where is he jumping. Now you're probably saying, but Mary, we, we put all the frames in the same exact, um, you know, horizontal and vertical. But you can see when we're, we're, when we're doing the onion skin that it does jump up and down a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click on each of the frames and make sure that the head doesn't move that much. We want the head kind of to be um, stationary. Now you could use your mouse to move it. You could also use your um, your keyboard commands, which are the arrow keys. I like to do that. So some of them have to move up, some of them have to move back. So when you're doing the onion skin, you're going to want them basically all to be fairly in the same place. You don't want the head to move around a lot. All right, so now I'm going to turn the looping on again, and I'll see how this is. There we go. That's much better. Really just don't want the legs to move. All right, so he's really work, walking with a purpose here. All right, so I'm going to stop that, turn off the loop. And this would be a great time for me to save my file because I don't want to lose all this lo lo lovely work that we're doing. So I'm going to go to File, pull down a Save As. We always name it our last names. This is going to be Homework 5. So I'm going to type in Homework 5, and then we'll save that. All right, so I'm going to click back to scene one, and you'll notice now in the library we have a movie clip that's called Fast Walk. Now I want to slow him down just a little bit, so we're going to do another walk. So we're going to go to Insert, New Symbol, and we'll call it Walk, and we'll call it Slow. We'll call it MC for movie clip, and make sure it's a movie clip. All right, so now this time, just to slow him down, what we're going to do is we're going to have him do every two frames. Of course, I'm going to name this layer. All right, so in frame one, we're going to drag the guy over onto the stage. We're going to make sure he's centered. All right. Now, instead of doing it every single frame, we're going to do it every two frames. So now I'm going to click on frame number three, right click, insert a keyframe, click on walk one, swap out to walk two, go to frame five, right click, insert keyframe, click on the graphic, swap out for walk three, go to frame seven, right click, insert a keyframe, swap out walk three for walk four, click on frame nine, right click, insert a keyframe, swap out walk four for walk five, All right, so now we're on to frame 11. Right click on frame 11, insert a keyframe, and we're going to swap out for frame 6 or walk 6. Then we're going to go to frame 13, insert a keyframe, click swap for 7, click on 15, right click, insert a keyframe, swap for 8. Now we also want to then click on frame 16. And we just want to insert a frame, not a keyframe, just a frame. That way it's going to go uh, for two frames as opposed to just one. Now, if I put this looping on and I play it, he's going to walk a little bit slower. But again, we still got that problem we have to use the, the onion skinning for. So the first thing I'm going to do before I actually turn on onion skin, I think I skipped a couple things in here. I didn't actually center things. Um, when I was doing it. So th that's the first thing that I can do to, to help it. So you can either do this as you go or you can do it after you do it. So I'm going to click here and get this all to be centered. That will at least get me a little bit closer to what I want. Now for the most part the graphics that I give you are pretty uh, much built the way they need to be, but sometimes your graphics will have to be onion skinned just so that you get it to look proper. All right, so now I'm going to turn loop on again. I'm going to loop it. All right, it's pretty good, but I need to turn on onion skinning because there still is a little bit of movement. So I want to make sure that the heads are in the relatively same position. Right, that one's good. That one's okay. This one needs to go back a little bit. 
this one needs to go up a little bit. I'm a big fan of using the keyboard, so that's what I'm doing to get it to move. That one's okay. This one needs to move up a little bit. Actually, this one needs to move. There we go. All right, and then this one. Go back a little bit, maybe. All right, so now I'm going to turn on, turn off the onion skin and turn on the looping and see how that works. All right, so that's a lot better. Now, what you don't want is you don't want the guy to be moving back and forth. You want it to look like he's walking. All right, so I'm going to go back to scene number one, and I'm going to save my work. All right, so now in um, scene number one, we have the hallway, and that goes out for the entire um, 12 seconds of the animation. So now we need to go and click on a new layer, and we'll call this one, this layer, um, guy walking All right. so in frame number one we're going to drag the um, the slow walking and I'm just going to also zoom out a little bit so we can see this whole stage so in frame of the in frame number one of the guy walking we're going to grab the slow walk and we're going to put him onto the right hand side of the stage over here now this gentleman is either very tall um, or maybe he's disproportionate to the, the lockers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select him and I'm going to go um, and I'm going to get my um, information panel. All right, and we're going to see that or I'm going to go to the transform panel. I could, you could either go to transform or you could go to info, either or. And let's say he's a little bit too tall. So I'm going to go to transform and I'm just going to make him 75%. Um, of his current size. So I'm going to make him 75%. Now I have the chain on, so when I change this one to 75, this one also goes to 75. All right, so he's, now he's a little shorter. All right, so he's a little, at least in proportion of that. All right, so in frame one, he's going to be over here. And then in frame um, 62, right here, we're going to right click, insert a keyframe, and he's going to walk all the way across the stage this way. All right. So in frame one, he's over here, off the stage right, and over here, frame 62, he's off the stage left. So now I'm going to click and I'm going to insert a classic tween. All right. Now when I play this, using the, the key commands down here, oops, first I got to turn off the looping. And the rewind. All right, so now when I play this, well, he does the kind of slide across the stage. That's not exactly what we wanted. Now, one of the things that we're going to do is um, we need to start getting the habit of when we want to see our animation going to control and saying test. So he's going to walk across the stage now. All right, so there we go. All right. Now, what's going to happen is after he walks across the stage in frame um, 63, we're going to insert a blank keyframe which means he's actually going to disappear. And so from frame 63 to 72, we want really nothing to happen. So we're going to insert um, a keyframe here, and it's going to become a, it's still a blank keyframe. So there's a, so there's nothing happening from 63 to 72. So, you know, like a, a quarter of a second or a third of a second, nothing's going to happen. All right, so what we have so far is we have the animation and in frame one, he's walking across the stage in the slow walk, and then he disappears from the stage. And then in frame 72, we're going to want um, him to come back on the stage and walk across the stage to the middle and then stop. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the slow movie clip. So in frame number 72, where there was a blank keyframe, and there is a blank keyframe, we're going to take the walks slow. Actually, we're going to use the walk fast. So in 70, frame 72, we're going to put him over here. And again, I need to, I'm going to need to size him again. So I'm going to get my um, transform and I'll make him 75% of his size. All right. Now, it would be funny if he kind of walked backwards, but that's not what we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to transform him. So we're going to click on him. Go to Modify, 
go to transform and we're going to flip him horizontally so he's facing the correct direction. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have him walk from off stage into the middle of the stage and then we're going to have him stop. So we're going to go out to frame 96 and we're going to right click and we're going to insert a keyframe and we're going to move him into the middle of the stage right about here. Now in frame 97 we're going to right click and insert a keyframe but what we're going to do is we're going to click on him and we're going to swap him out for the walk we're going to swap him out for the um, standing forward character so I'm going to click on standing forward all right and we're going to have to actually do the onion skin to make sure he's actually actually in the same same spot now the other thing I forgot to do is in frame 72 I forgot to insert the classic tween all right so he's going to come in and what we're going to have to do is using the onion skin on these two frames make sure that he's in the right position so we don't want him you know looking like he jumps around now what's basically going to happen is we're doing an optical illusion so in frame 70 2 to 96 he's walking and then in 97 he's just going to stop walking if you didn't swap him out for a symbol that was not walking um, if you just kept the um, walking person in there he would walk in place and that's absolutely not what we wanted all right so once we've onion skinned him and that's all working the next thing we need to do is we need to um, go ahead and um, get him to continue walking. Um, so he's going to hang out here for a little bit and then he's going to walk off the stage. All right, so we've got him walking on the um, stage. He walks quickly off from one side to the other. And then he stops. Um, in the middle of the stage and he's standing there from frame 96 and what we're going to do and in 97 we swapped him out and now he's just standing there now we want him to stand there for a little bit of time so I'm going to go out to let's say 215 and we're going to right click on 215 insert keyframe and then on 216 we're going to insert another keyframe and in 216 we're going to swap him from the standing back to the walking and we'll have him walk slowly off the stage all right now again he's not exactly in the right position so we're going to move him down and i'm going to turn on the onion skin so for these two frames we don't really want him moving all that much we don't want him to like jump so we're going to move him a little bit all right so out at uh, 215 he standing there then he switches back to the walking person and then we're gonna have him walk off the stage to frame um, 239 so on 239 we're gonna right click insert the keyframe we'll have him um, we'll drag him off the stage over here and then we'll insert classic tween back at um, all right so now he's gonna move off the stage all right so let's go ahead and save this just so we don't lose our work and let's go to control test the movie so he's gonna walk across the stage relatively quickly and he's gonna walk back on the stage stop smile at us for a while and then he's going to turn and walk back off the stage all right now, one of the things I did when I was planning out this homework assignment is I kind of planned time over distance. So for example, when I, from the first keyframe to the um, 60 second keyframe, this is about two and a half seconds. So it takes about two and a half seconds for him to walk across the stage. And then it takes him about a second to walk to the middle of the stage. And then he stands there for a while and then it takes him about a second to walk off the stage again again because it's halfway 
took him a second to go from off stage to the mid midpoint, midpoint to off the stage. Again, a second, a second. Um, going a totally across, it took two seconds. Um, so that's where I got the, the half speed. And then he stays off the stage for a while. All right, so here's another thing I want you to do. Um, so the challenge on this one is there's a, a bunch of graphics in that folder. So if I go to File and I say Import, Import to Library, there are eight um, graphics in there. So if I go into Walking, there are a bunch of, there's eight Gal graphics. Um, so you can bring in these eight Gal graphics along with the Gal standing, and I can open that and it will go into the library after I click confirm on the imports and then what I want you to do for the challenge is can you make the girl walk stop and then walk again so this is the import and I've got to import all the eight walking graphics All right, so here's all the gal graphics, so you can have her walk across the stage. Now, I really want you to do that. If you don't do the gal walking, there will be not full points for the assignment. All right, so make sure you have the girl walk across the stage as well. All right, and you can do that in any timeline you want. You can have her walk slow. Um, you could actually have her really slow. So you can figure out how to do that. But that's part of this assignment. Go ahead and, and uh, make the girl walk across the stage. All right, so this is Professor Mary saying that's homework number five. Um, if you have any questions about this assignment or you need help, um, please come see me during office hours or come see me before or after class. All right, we'll see you later.